Want to know what a real man would tell their lady about love and life? You're in the right place. This is Hello Ladies with Rom Wills. Rom Wills is a speaker and author of several books on relationships. Grab some wine, sit back, and enjoy. Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Go beyond the outer package, all right? And you know what? <laughs> this podcast was inspired by a conversation I re- uh, recently had, right? And, um, you know, every now and then I talk with a very beautiful friend of mine, right? You know, chop it up with her, right? And it's ironic in this particular conversation, I was calling a, uh, on a business matter. And as she does, she very eloquently explained why she wasn't interested, right? And, you know, I respect that. I was like, oh, okay, because, you know, and just to let you know, it was about doing a, a webinar. But she's, she's a type. She, she likes, she gives away information for free. So that's not really her thing, right? And I was like, oh, okay, that's cool. That's cool. I respect it. And as is always the case whenever we talk, um, she dropped some knowledge on me, right? She dropped some knowledge, very, very intellectual, very philosophical. Like, you always leave a conversation with her thinking deep. Now, here's the thing. If you were to see this person, you wouldn't even think she would be on that. And, you know, without calling her name, I'll just say there's a lot of pictures of her on the in, on the Internet. Right. In fact, I got a couple friends like this, but um, I don't, I'm not going to call their name. If somebody, you know, she she bothers to hear this or something, she'll just be like, oh, yeah, Ron. <laughs> thanks for not calling my name, because one, that's not what she does anymore anyway. But, you know, but like I said, it's deep. Like I said, very beautiful woman, very beautiful woman, very well known, if I were to call her name, right? Very well known. And, but you wouldn't think that. In fact, it, like I said, there's two women such like that in my life. And you wouldn't think that how deep they could get with you, right? I'm going to tell you what. Image is important. Image is important. Un- for better or worse, we make judgments, decisions, everything based on the image we see in front of us, right? And sometimes we're accurate, sometimes we're not. And, I mean, it's something we're going to do. We're something, you know, like this, like the saying that, um, you know, women are size up a man within the first few seconds of meeting. I mean, it does. And, you know, it's something we all do. But something I've learned in life, sometimes you got to go beyond that, right? Sometimes you got to go beyond that. Now, the young lady I was talking with, you know, you wouldn't, like I said, if, in fact, she still got a somewhat public presence, um, a somewhat public social media presence. And like I said, if you see the image that you see on social media and then you see you talk with it, it's like, huh? Because you automatically think, okay, someone who looks like this, or especially a woman, especially a woman, that's an unfortunate thing in this society, especially a very beautiful woman, you know, very beautiful woman, very nice body and all that. You wouldn't think, oh, wait a minute, this woman is like dropping serious science on me, like seri- like making you actually think. That's one reason I love talking with her sometimes. She, you, you, you put out something and she'll just give you a perspective and she does it without trying to force that perspective. She'll just say, well, that's what I think, you know, right? And you're like, drag. Because even what uh, she had said, something, I said, you know, I should do that. Uh, yeah, I should do that for my Sunday podcast. But then she said, well, think about it like this. She used some examples. I was like, oh, man, you know what? Now I can't, now you don't mess me up. I can't use it now, right? But the bottom line is dig deeper, dig deeper, you know. I mean, this is something I've had personally in my life. I've had people uh, look at me a certain way and think I would be a certain way. But then when I would start, like, I had two instances, right? You know, I had one young lady who thought I was very physically attractive. And I was like, you know, first I was happy. I was like, man, somebody think I'm, somebody on this plane think I'm fine, right? But then, you know, we started talking. We were on a date. And we started talking. And she was like, man, you, you got a brain, too. You know, some people might have got offended by that, but I was just, I took it for what it was. Because it didn't look, the package didn't match, in her eyes, in her eyes, the package didn't match what was coming out my mouth. 
all right because i I, because anybody know me they know i can get real philosophical i can get real deep i really haven't seen anything all right so that was one but then it was um it was someone else and it's interesting what he said about me he said i look like i'd rob him until i opened my mouth (laughs) and i've actually had several i've had men say that like random men right they say man you look like you about to beat the shit out of somebody because <laughs> uh one thing about me if i'm that if i'm just walking down the street or something i usually have a mean look on my face and that's that's not even anything big because my uh that, that might be a genetic thing certain facial expressions and stuff because my son my youngest son is probably the ha- ha- one of the happiest kids i've ever met in life right that dude's always laughing smiling everything right but then when he thinking about something, there's certain facial expressions he getting. You'd be like, "Ugh, he look like he about to take somebody out." But it's just with him, it's literally just a facial expression. Though he do have a temper sometimes, but that's another conversation, right? But um, you know, go beyond it. Dig belief to see. A lot of people don't dig. They don't find out what's up. I mean, I got another story like that. I remember, um, um, this one dude I met and. You know, the first impression was this dude lived in a cardboard box, all right? And I don't want to give too much of the circumstances why, but somebody else, it was a meeting of some fellas, and um, one of them brought this dude with him. And, you know, your first impression was, why are you bringing this dude? But then once this dude opened his mouth, the wisdom just flowed out. The wisdom flowed out of this dude. I mean, and you're just like, Wow. And then there was some other stuff with it. You were like, wow, this dude is deep. He got a lot of stuff. He got intellectually, he shoot, able to charm some ladies. I was just like, wow. So you know what? With every, I mean, and this is just in life. And, you know, we're still, we're still going to be the type of people who, um, you know, you're going to make a snap because you don't always have time to make, to dig deep. Sometimes you have to make a split decision, but when you can, go beyond the surface. Go beyond the outer package. Dig deep. Cuz I'm going to tell you what. Often you can find a you can find a treasure. You can you can find a treasure uh, something like that. And I'm going to tell you how deep that is. That can even be a money thing. Because now, I mentioned talking with the one very beautiful friend, and then, you know, I mentioned there was another one, and they're both, they've been in the public eye. One still kind of there, all right? But, you know, the beauty of it is I was thinking about it. I said, wait a minute. Both of these women have put money in my pockets. <laughs> Just listening to, you know, some of the stuff they were saying, give me ideas and all of that, right? I was like, man, they, I mean, they weren't just pretty faces, but you could say they were like advisors, you know, giving me perspective on stuff, right? Now, if I had just looked at these women and just said, oh, they just fine, you know, they just beautiful women, fine body. I'm just trying to holler at them. <laughs> I would have missed out on a whole lot if I, if I came, if I, if I wasn't open to it. See, that's another thing. A lot of times just by focusing just on that outer package you you can miss a potential blessing you don't know what that person is you know you don't know what they bring into the table all right you know you need never know in fact i got i got quite a few female friends like that all right you know you thinking one thing you're looking at the outer package but then they hitting you on some deep stuff all right and that's an important thing, and you know, for men to do that, women to do that, right? A lot of women, they'll meet a guy and think one thing, and then, you know, get to know him and find out, oh, wow, this is like Mr. Right right here, you know? So, I mean, business-wise, relationship-wise, all of that. Go beyond, go beyond that outer package. Dig a bit. I mean, it's not always a perfect situation to do it. I mean, and sometimes you just can't because of the circumstances. But when you can, find out what's going on. Find out, for, you know, that practice is pretty. Find out. You know, it's like that cliche saying, you know, don't judge a book by its cover. Right? Find out. You know? So anyway, that's all we got for now. You know, keep rising and transforming. 
Peace.